Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. So the NEET PG results are out and uh, the results can be good, bad, or it will be leaving a lot of confusion with a uh, lot of confusion for some people because they might be getting the branch but not the college. They might be getting the college but not the branch or a second branch that they had in their mind. A brief introduction about myself. I'm Dr. Aditya Gupta. I did my MBBS from Ames, New Delhi. I secured All India Rank 17 in Ames PG 2018. I did my MD in Pediatrics and now I'm doing my DM in Pediatric Oncology from Ames, New Delhi. So uh, in the last video I talked about some uncommon branches which had huge prospects. Now I'm going to talk about some unknown secrets of like common branches, which can again help you achieve your ultimate goal. So let's begin first. First is people, uh, I'll be focusing more on oncology because I know about this a lot. So bear with me first, like as far as surgical oncology is concerned, you should realize that surgical oncology, as you can see, this is from the annexure, annexure C of NEAT SS this year itself. So DNB, ENT, DNB, uh, MS ENT, DNB or MS Ops Gynae Orthopedics, they all are eligible for surgical oncology. So for people who might be getting, not getting surgery at a place of their choice or at the rank uh, they are getting, but they're getting ENT and Ops Gynae, they can actually choose a better uh, college which may have no bond or increased salary. I'm just giving a random example. For example, if you're getting ENT in a Delhi college, but you're not able to get surgery in a Delhi college, then go for, if your ultimate goal is doing surgical oncology you now you can actually go for ANT in a Delhi college why suppose you're getting surgery in a West Bengal college now West Bengal has a three year bond salaries are lower 60,000 cash per cent but ANT in a Delhi college there's no bond salaries close to 90,000 to 1 lakh rupees per month in such a scenario if your ultimate goal is surgical oncology it makes more sense you to do ENT so you know all you always keep this in prospect ENT is allowed for both surgical oncology and MCH, it's also allowed for head and neck or, 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 and plastics as well. So if you're interested in these branches and you're not getting surgery at your desired place, but you're getting ENT, think about it. Maybe for these three years, you can get through ENT and then get into your deemed super specialization that you want. All right. Next up is again, uh, a lot of people were commenting in my previous video that this year NEET SS has changed everything, only medicine is eligible for everything. Uh, I'll just give a brief intro. What actually has happened that earlier, there used to be 40 questions from that particular super speciality and there were 40 questions from the feeder branch that you accepted. For example, if you wanted to do DM in hematology and your MD was in pediatrics or pathology, 40 questions used to be from pediatrics, pathology and medicine combined, while 40 questions used to be just from hematology. But this year, what they have done is that 80 questions 80 questions are going to come from just medicine and medicine super okay, jo bhi sub speciality, that's it. So it's not that an MD PEDS or MD in biochemistry or MD in pathology is not eligible for hematology. That's still eligible, but they have to clear it through the medicine route. They have to up, up to appear the medicine exams. They essentially have to study medicine in order to clear DM hematology. And also this order has a stay. I mentioned in my comment in my previous video that Supreme Court has given a stay order for this thing and they have said that please look into it to center an NB because this change came this year only. It was not there till the last year. So from this this itself, you, as you can see that you can do pathology or biochemistry and still have a chance at hematology. You can do immunology and, and as I again, I've, like I emphasized in my previous video, uh, pediatrics is eligible for all super specialization except gastroenterology. One super specialization that is gastroenterology. It is not eligible. Actually, PGMA it is eligible even in gastroenterology, but rather I'll say just for the journal outlook, gastroenterology may pediatrics not eligible, but baki hematology rheumatology, crit uh, critical care medicine, everything, it's eligible. Now, this brings me to the critical care medicine wala part. As you can see, emergency medicine, journal medicine. So yeah, critical care medicine is the field of the future and it has been shown now in the COVID era that ICU managed karna is the one thing that a doctor should know and is going to become the biggest thing up thing. It is becoming the biggest thing in these days. So even if you're not getting, let's say medicine, uh, you wanted medicine, you're not getting medicine. Even then doing an MD in an analysis from a really good Delhi college or really good college that you desire, doing your MD or DNB from emergency medicine gives you a shot at doing your DM in critical care medicine. So take that opportunity, pounce at that opportunity, especially DNB in emergency medicine is very up and coming and a simple DNB in emergency medicine can manage the emergencies of emergency department of a very good private or a government sector hospital. Emergency medicine will come up at government hospitals, so they will require faculty as well. So your prospect of getting a government faculty seat also improves a lot. So keep that thing also in mind. Your medicine, pediatrics, these branches, they are evergreen, I won't deny. They are good for private practice, I won't deny. But they are sort of saturated. 
सो इमरजेंसी मेडिसिन आना सीजन डेन डूइंग क्रिटिकल केयर मेडिसिन दीज आर निश ब्रांचेस वेर यू विल राइज जस्ट लाइक दैट इफ यू मेक अ नेम फॉर योर सेल्फ सो डी एन बी इमरजेंसी मेडिसिन इन अ गुड सेटअप इन अ गुड प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल कैन गिव यू अ शॉर्ट एट क्रिटिकल केयर मेडिसिन सो ऑलवेज कीप दैट इन माइंड मे बी यू नॉट गेटिंग मेडिसिन बट इमरजेंसी मेडिसिन विल कवर एसेंशली ऑल द इमरजेंसी इज एंड द आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ मेडिसिन एंड देन यू कैन गो टू क्रिटिकल केयर मेडिसिन यू बिन द बॉस ऑफ आई सी लाइक सेट इन माई प्रिवियस वीडियो as like another thing that i wanted to focus on is clinical pharmacology another up and coming dm and uh, you can think of pharmacology especially if you want to run clinical trials now clinical trials in, in india uh, india is currently the second or the third largest site of running clinical trial after us and european union you have to remember so uh, because of a patient population and the huge population that we have clinical trials are being run tremendously and these clinical trial investigators are played very handsomely by the pharma companies so you should remember that that for this clinical trials dm and clinical pharmacology will give you again good prospects as far as government setup is concerned you will get a government faculty position e- relatively much easier as compared to someone who's doing md in medicine or pediatrics now what are the other options that i want you to explore uh, if you're not getting a chance rank uh, not getting a rank or not getting the branch that you dreamed of or not getting the college that you're dreaming of versus dnbs this is the one thing that keeps everyone keeps on asking ki what to do we do so yaar as far as dnb is concerned yaar uh, the thing is dnb is mostly in private hospitals so good private hospitals medical fields yaar medical fields are more about your brain rather than your skills and you can learn from other observing other people diagnosing other people and everything it doesn't require little hands on so it, uh, dnb in a medical field be it derma let's say be it medicine be it pediatrics from a good private hospital or good cooperative hospital for example hospitals like you know in delhi there is kasturba hospital in delhi there is esi hospital in delhi there is uh, uh the fortis and all these even if you're doing a dnb in a medical field it won't affect your long term outcomes and prospects surgicals i will still advise you know the best person to advise will be the person who's doing that particular field there मैं जो बोलूँगा पीपल हु आर देर देर इन द अदर कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट्स आई बी वेरी फ्रांक ऑल आर नॉलेज इज सेकेंडरी वी आर गेटिंग इट फ्रॉम द पीपल हु वी हैव टॉक्ड विथ एंड देन वी आर ट्रेलिंग इट टू यू गाइज द बेस्ट आंसर वुड बी गॉटन दैट इफ यू फील ओके आई वॉन्ट टू डू डी एन बी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फील फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लेस आई एम गेटिंग बेस्ट पर्सन टू आंसर दैट क्वेरी वेदर इट्स गुड इट्स बैड वेदर इट्स ओके वेदर लॉन्ग टर्म फ्यूचर प्रोस्पेक्ट्स आर इज समन हुज एक्चुअली डूइंग इट देर you know when i got a rank all india rank 17 i had a confusion that like like getting a good rank everyone says ki radio le lo i had a confusion should i take md in radio diagnosis from aims jodhpur uh my interest was actually in oncology even at that point of time so it was a lower down but in order to uh, see how md in radio diagnosis is at jodhpur i do not i actually went to aims jodhpur to see how the setup is there and then took an informed decision no i want to do md in pediatrics from my parent institute that is aims delhi so that way if you want to take an informed decision my advice or advice of any other coaching institute let me be very clear it's a secondary advice it's a secondary knowledge that we are passing on best person the best person is do your own research actually talk to the people who are actually doing that they will be the better uh, persons to tell you what exactly it is or someone even if in the coaching institutes is someone is there uh, doesn't matter which one it is if they themselves have done dnb if they themselves have done dnb from a particular institute then, then they will be able to guide you better than you know relying on the secondary information in such a way we are actually deceiving you so having said that there is some basic knowledge that everyone knows dnb in a medical field from a good private setup is decent it's good you can actually opt for it don't worry about it second option i want people to consider that many people tend to neglect and don't know about they do know about it but they don't consider it this way is the armed forces now i'll agree that my father was in the indian air force and that's why i have a sort of a bias towards the armed forces having said that armed forces are a are an excellent career choice for you as a doctor and i'll tell you in step by step first first and foremost is a salary your armed forces have the best salary they have the central institute ki salary and top of that they get military service pay of close to 15000 rupees your salary as a jr will be close to 1.5 lakh rupees so 1.3 to 1.5 lakh rupees including if you include the hr and uh, other perks plus there will be other perks canteen facilities and you know uh, you will get concession as well as traveling is concerned uh, you will get a lot of paid holidays leave in cashment things like that so it as far as perks salary during your residency is concerned not even central institutes can beat the armed forces second they're really good colleges they're not bad colleges armed forces run the 
द प्रॉब्ली वन ऑफ द बेटर कॉलेज आफ्टर सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट्स आर कंसर्न एफ एम सी इज द सेकंड बेस्ट कॉलेज रैंक इन द कंट्री अदर हॉस्पिटल्स दे ऑफर डी एन बी दे डो नॉट ऑफर एम डी बिकॉज दे डो नॉट हैव अ मेडिकल कॉलेज एम बी बी एस कॉलेज अटैच विद दम सो दैट्स वाई दे ऑफर टेन टू ऑफर डी एन बीज बट दे आर द बेस्ट हॉस्पिटल्स इन द कंट्री प्रॉब्ली आफ्टर यू नो यूर नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट बेस्ट गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल्स यू कैट द मिलिट्री पर्क एंड डूइंग योर डी एन बी इन अ गुड इन योर ब्रांच फ्रॉम दीज हॉस्पिटल आर्मी आर आर कमांड हॉस्पिटल्स बेस हॉस्पिटल ए एफ एम सी अदर कमांड हॉस्पिटल्स देर मेरी लखनऊ दे आर इन कोलकाता दे आर एन एक्सलेंट ऑप्शन गुड सैलरी योर जॉब इज सिक्योर नॉल मोस्ट पीपल्स विल टेंड टू कंप्लेन अब दिस टू थिंग्स first is the bond the seven year bond now let me be very clear the seven don't think of the seven year old bond as seven year bond think of it as just a four year bond because you had to do a three year rsrship so that is gone and this four year is just your experience so if you did your let's say your md in pediatrics sorry dnb in pediatrics you got three years of rsrship that as an experience there plus tumhari salary will keep on increase because you will keep on getting promotions you all have the military perks and you will have four years of experience in working in the best hospital of this country so and after that your value in the private sector if you want to go or even in the government sector sector you want to go will increase tremendously so always remember that so uh armed forces always considered an option they are sort of kept down by people but i'll actually say if they are kept down if they are kept down by the people do not uh, do not think it of that way do explore armed forces as an option next last last but left in not the least yaar i nice city one month still left one month and a half month is still left and good 500 or 600 odd seats are up for grabs do not squander this opportunity what will happen is most people in the who are getting the top 4000 5000 rank will stop studying now they will absolutely stop studying they'll think they'll getting their branch they'll compromise on slightly compromise on the branch they won't compromise on the branch they'll compromise on college or whatever it is but most people will so now stop this is your opportunity to go up even if you had gotten an average rank or not so good rank if you push it further now you can get away remember yaar aims pg rank one ya ini city pg rank one last kafi time se is never need pg me top 100 it's not really true most of the time not it's not in not need top 10 kyun because they already have stopped studying they probably might be more intelligent might actually if they had start continued studying might have actually gotten into a institute of national importance but we stop studying don't do that ठीक है दिस इज योर गुड चांस टू वर्क हार्ड आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन अ वीडियो ऑन द शेड्यूल व्हाट यू कैन गो लाइक सो गो हेड थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे